Hello everybody and welcome to Wrestling With Real Estate. I am your host Ben Miller and I am always wrestling with real estate trying to help you pin the competition and by getting you out of that house and into the home of your dreams. We got a great episode of Wrestling With Real Estate this week right here on YouTube because we are going to discuss the top five most underrated places to live here in Kansas City. Now, first time buyers, home investors, pay close attention. Get out your little notepads and start jotting down some notes because these are great places for you to start either your life here in Kansas City or to invest in a really good property. The top five most underrated places to live here in Kansas City is coming up right now on Wrestling With Real Estate. Hit it, Josh. All right, guys, welcome back to Wrestling With Real Estate as my producer, Josh, is working his butt off to bring you and make sense of all this content. A little caveat before we launch into the top five lists. Now, obviously, there's a lot of other realtors, a lot of other videos on YouTube where you can look up the top five greatest places to live here in Kansas City. You're going to get results like Brookside, and you're going to get results like North of the River, and you're going to get results like Overland Park and Shawnee, and I'll cover all of those areas in another video. But being the realtor that I am and trying to provide you with the best information possible, what struck my heart about Kansas City was the fact that there's so many great neighborhoods. There's, there's diamonds in the rough scattered all across the Kansas City metro. Now, I want you to know that this is a top five most underrated places to live, according to me, because I like experience. I like going out there, and I like experiencing the different neighborhoods here in Kansas City. So I didn't go off any list. These are just places that I think are under underappreciated and there's so many great neighborhoods and I can only do five so I'm only going to do five in the Kansas City metro not really going up north not really going north of the river south of the river you know what I mean like I'm going to stick with the Kansas City metro area not even drifting on the Kansas side of our little lovely city here so things that stuck out to me about these top five neighborhoods are places that have great community that have diversity, which is super important. And overall, just this, 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 I'm an underdog guy. That's the best way to put it. I'm an underdog guy. I like the, I like rooting for neighborhoods that nobody else is really rooting for. So if you're a single person, if you're a person looking to downsize, if you're a person that's looking to be a first time home buyer or to be an investor, these are great neighborhoods for you. Now, I will warn you, this is another little caveat here. I will warn you that unfortunately, some of these areas don't have the best school system and I'll address that in another video. So these are really for the people that I just described. So without further ado, without over explaining everything, let's get to the top five most underrated places to live in Kansas City, starting off with number five. All right, number five. Yeah, you know, before we go to number five, let's talk about something real quick. I went out and I filmed a bunch of drive around footage for all these great neighborhoods. And I did on location shots. I was holding the selfie stick. I was doing all that kind of stuff. And at the end of the day, I didn't feel like it was good enough. And maybe this isn't good enough. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about each neighborhood. And you're going to see some of this drive along footage that I did of the neighborhoods and maybe gives you a better glimpse into why these neighborhoods are so special. And let's talk about number five, which is Marlboro Heights. I love Marlboro Heights. There's so many reasons why I love it, but the number one reason why I love it is because they have an incredible sense of community. They have a strong homeowners association, they have a community garden, and they are working overtime and really hard to make sure that Marlboro is becoming one of the fastest growing, most popular neighborhoods in all of Kansas City. Now, the one downside to Marlboro is that it's a little far from downtown, downtown Kansas City. It's about a 15 minute drive, which is fine for most of us, but a lot of you may be put off by the fact that you can't see all the arts and entertainment that the downtown Kansas City area has. But the good part about that is is Marlboro is super close to Waldo, which, spoiler alert, is coming up on this list. And Waldo has a lot of great places. There's an Aldi, there's great coffee, and great food. Marlboro is definitely a place, home buyers, investors, 
definitely a place that you want to spend your hard-earned money on. All right, coming back with number four. Number four is the place I was just referring to that I just gave you a spoiler alert about. Number four, ding, 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 is Waldo. Now, Waldo is a great neighborhood in South Kansas City. It also is um, adjacent to Marlboro Heights. Homes are a little bit more expensive there. Ranch house designs. Now, in Marlboro Heights, you saw different types. You saw ranch houses, you saw uh, you know, stone brick houses, two-story houses. There was a lot of diversity as far as the architecture goes in Marlboro Heights. Now, Waldo is basically, you're gonna find a few colonial houses, you're gonna find a few split-level houses, but mostly you're gonna find beautiful ranch houses with a lot of land. Now, I mentioned at number five, you had Marlboro Heights that you could drive to Waldo and get all the access to great food, coffee, bars, all that kind of stuff. And now, if you're living in Waldo, you're that much closer to all those activities. Now, a great thing about Waldo also is that they have the Trolley Track Trail. I say that five times fast. The Trolley Track Trail is a trail that leads from about the Waldo District all the way up to almost Brookside and the Plaza. You can bike, jog, run, whatever you want. But Waldo is a great neighborhood with access to a lot of amenities. All right, number three is a place that's near and dear to my heart. Number three is Mannheim Park. Now, I'm kind of partial to Mannheim Park or a little biased because I live here. Now, it is east of Truce. It's, you know, one of the fastest developing neighborhoods in the market right now. There's actually 10 homes being built right now in Mannheim. So again, if you're an investor and a first time buyer and you don't want to pay the little bit elevated prices of Waldo, it's kind of in line with Marlboro Heights as far as price goes, but it, the architecture is quite different from the previous two neighborhoods. You have giant shirtwaists, you have some colonials, but mostly because it's in city center, you're gonna have mostly these big stone, beautiful Kansas City shirtwaist house. Now, as far as amenities go, like I said, we're in central, pretty much midtown Kansas City. So we are a short drive to downtown Kansas City, to north of the river, to south Kansas City. So it's great being in the heart of everything here in Kansas City. Now, the really great thing about Mannheim Park is that we have a wonderful neighborhood association. Now, I don't know anything about the neighborhood association in Waldo. I just love the access to amenities. But right here in Midtown, in Mannheim Park, we have a neighborhood association that's very strong and we care about our neighborhood. And man, what a diverse neighborhood to be a part of. I know all of my neighbors. We check in on each other. We hang out. It's a great place to be. Mannheim Park is number three on my list. Now let's move on to number two in the top five most underrated places to live here in Kansas City. All right, number two on the top five best places and most underrated places to live in Kansas City is Coleman Highland. Now, Coleman Highlands, because it's number two, you're gonna get a little bit higher of a price tag. It is right off of Southwest Traffic Way, which is one of the main arteries here in Kansas City. So you get a lot of busy traffic going zooming by. But the great thing about Coleman Highlands is when you go back actually into the neighborhood, it is super quiet. The architecture is absolutely breathtaking with tree-lined streets, beautiful giant houses. You think we have shirtwaist houses in Mannheim Park? They are nothing compared to the almost mansion-sized houses of Coleman Highlands, as you can see through the footage that Josh is hopefully rolling right now. So as you can see, the houses, the tree-lined streets are beautiful, but it's not just the architecture that is really attractive about Coleman Highlands. Coleman Highlands also has a lovely view of downtown from the back part of the neighborhood. And there's also new homes being developed there right as we speak. And of course, because it's closer to that main artery, Southwest Traffic Way, it is very, very close to downtown. So if you want to experience all the arts, entertainment, and culture that Kansas City has to offer, Coleman Highlands may be the neighborhood for you. Now, it does come at a stiff price tag. A lot of houses are in the twos, threes, and sometimes even four, but you're going to get a gigantic house for that price tag. And boy, it might be worth it for you. Now, for first time home buyers and investors, there's not a lot of properties, but you can find some diamonds to rehab and make it the home 
of your dreams. Number two is Coleman Highlands. All right, it is now time for number one. Josh, roll the footage of number one and let's talk about number one. Number one is Trucewood. Trucewood is an amazing neighborhood. It's got a little bit of everything. Number five, number four, number three, number two, number one. It's got a little bit of everything and that's why I love Trucewood. Trucewood is nestled on a hill and it's right smack dab what I believe is in the middle of the city. You know, you have to, from Mannheim Park, from Marlboro, from all these other neighborhoods that I mentioned in the most underrated neighborhoods, this one feels like it's just so close to everything. It's close to Brookside, it's close to the plaza, it's close to downtown because it's near the 71 freeway. It has a strong neighborhood association. It has ranch houses, it has shirtwaist houses, it has colonial houses, it has plenty of yards in some of these houses. It's near Rockhurst University. It's, it's just absolutely near everything. And I believe the price tag is in between Marlboro, Mannheim, and Coleman. So you're gonna pay a little bit more, not as much as Coleman, which is why the Truthwood is number one, but you're still gonna pay a pretty hefty price tag for some houses in that neighborhood. But the secret is, is there's a lot of great houses that need to be rehabbed in this neighborhood. And the Neighborhood Association would love you if you rehabbed it and bought it for yourself to make it the home of your dreams. And one little thing about Trucewood as well is that it has an incredible view of this city as well. I mean, it's not, you're not gonna see all of downtown, but you're gonna see the plaza. So the secret is, is when the plaza lights get strung up around Thanksgiving and they turn on the lights for Christmas and, and the plaza is all beautiful and lit up, you have a perfect view of the plaza right from True Sweat. I love True Sweat. If I could have bought a house there, I would have. And believe me, I tried. But the housing market is that competitive. So number one on the list is True Sweat. All right, so that is it. I am so glad you took time out of your busy day to spend it with me to learn about the top five most underrated places to live here in Kansas City. Please click like and subscribe down here at the bottom. Josh, can you put them down at the bottom? And if you have any questions about real estate, give me a call, area code 661-236-9055. And I would be glad to share more hidden gems, more hidden secrets with you about our lovely city, Kansas City. Now I'm Ben Miller, I'm wrestling with real estate, and don't forget, I'm the realtor that's putting real back in real estate. We'll see you next time on Wrestling With Real Estate with me, Ben Miller.